Holla, bitch, holla, sit holla, down. Holla, 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 bitch, holla, me For this style, I used about six and a half packs of the Outre Expression 3C Whirly Loop in the color number four. I will have all of the product details listed in the description box if you'd like to learn more. And if you are a beginner or you're someone who's aware of the alkaline base that sits on most synthetic hair products, I urge you to try the apple cider vinegar rinse. This is a great way to break down that alkaline base. It avoids irritation if you are someone who, you know, you have a very sensitive scalp, this is a perfect step for you. I do suggest leaving this gold tie around the hair. It makes it so much easier to manage while rinsing the hair. And after about 15 to 20 minutes, you'll see this light white residue or film sitting at the top layer of the water. Don't be alarmed, it's just the alkaline base. And you just want to gently, you know, wring out the hair and allow it to air dry for about six plus hours or overnight. You can hang it up as well or within a towel and you're good to go. And the 3C Whirly Loop is about nine and a half to 10 inches and four individual pieces come within a loop. To remove that plastic piece that holds the loop together, pull on the opposite ends of the hair and it'll just release just like that. And it gives you four individual pieces to work with. Now, the braiding pattern here is not anything spectacular, and I did that intentionally. I want you guys to know that you can do this even if you have struggle braids. Girl, I know all about it. Your parting doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be logical for your hairstyle. And so some of the tips that I suggest is take your time and do this when you have time. Use gel on the edges, braid slightly behind your natural hairline, and connect the ends of one cornrow into the body of another cornrow. I have 12 braids at the front, and as you can see at the midpoint of the crown, I have three braids connecting at the widest part of my head, so I'm going to have maximum fullness in this area, and I don't have to worry about any gaps showing through. Now, once you have the hair in the latch hook, you want to slide that plastic piece that I showed before downward so that you can enlarge the pre-loop, making it easier to bring the length of the hair through the loop. You will see me numerous times try to put the bulk of the hair within the latch hook, but it's way too voluminous to do so. So don't do as I am doing here. I will show you the correct method later on. Again, always think about the brick layering method here. When you're above the nape, I'm suggesting using about three fingers space, you know, width between the neighboring row because this hair is so thick, you do not need to be close together. You do not want to run out of hair. Let's say you have five packs, so this is going to help you to move along. Have you ever run out of hair? In my last tutorial, I actually ran out of hair. It happens to the best of us. And again, that brick layering concept, you want to stagger the crochet knots. And this is the recommended technique here. I am using my hands to bring the length of the hair through the pre-loop. It allows you to breeze through this process. You can install this hair. Like, I was at two packs and it didn't take me long at all to get there. But I did notice that my scalp, after I braid my hair, like, I'm always just in pain. I'm tender headed and I just, I have to use oil and this little applicator brush to soothe my scalp just so I can keep going. Great tip for you guys as well. And once you get to the crown, you no longer want to do the three finger width rule because this is the widest or largest portion of your head. So you want to have full coverage and you don't want any gaps peeking through. I do want to caution you when you move towards the front of your hair near the hairline, don't try to force these large bulk pieces of hair through. I did not take the plastic piece off the pre-loop at any point. I just wanted to breeze through this because I think that's the most beginner friendly step. You don't have to remove the plastic piece and you can still have a flawless style in the end.
and this is when I reached the very crown of my head you guys can see it looks really good if you wanted to use the knotless method in this area go ahead just remove that plastic piece and crochet in smaller pieces of hair now I'm just pulling the hair up because I'm gonna work on my edges I didn't leave as much out as I would like but I'm just going in with a little bit of gel and a soft bristle toothbrush and I'm going to spray down my soft bristle brush with some temporary hair color spray you guys can see that application is nice and seamless and you can clean it up by using an old scarf or t-shirt and then I'm going to use a little bit of island oil from before just to soften the hair because I don't want my edges to look hard and it just creates a fuller look overall with the hair color spray and you want to tie this down for about 15 to 20 minutes and once you take it off boom okay so next I'm gonna put some mousse on the hair and this is going to be great for you know getting out any of the shed hair because this hair does shed because of the installation process so don't be alarmed it depends on how hard you are on the hair that will influence the way it sheds but I definitely suggest using mousse to help get out those loose hairs don't be alarmed even I had some it was a not a lot so that was a really good thing and I'm just using my shampoo comb to fluff out the very ends because I want a little bit more volume I don't want uniform curls but I still want that fullness and that nice curl structure because these are juicy curls and I'm just gonna bobby pin this in place because I really want like a nice side part and girl I am in love how do you guys feel about this would you try it girl get into this hair okay Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll be sure to see you in the next one.